when the case was called. Counsel for the former GFA president, Bafo Jao Bonsu Ashia, reminded the court of its order to discharge the accused person if by April 30, prosecution failed to present their first witness, Anas Arimiao Anas. He argued that the second accused, Abdullah Al Hassan, was being inconvenienced since he had to travel from Tamale for every hearing. Presiding Judge Marie Louise Simmons expressed dissatisfaction as what she described as delayed tactics being employed by the prosecution to waste the court's time after establishing that an order which had been given for them to call four other witnesses in the case had not been adhered to. At the last adjourned date, the court disclosed two pending appeals by prosecution and Nyantichi in relation to the testimony of Anas Arimiao Anas. The Court of Appeal is to determine if the investigative journalist's face should be inspected in chambers by the judge before he will be allowed to testify. The judge indicated she had been informed by the Registrar of the Court of Appeal that there have been delays due to some logistical constraints and also partly due to a mistake made by the prosecution in the title of the case. Justice Simmons hence adjourned the case to June 10 as the court awaits the decision by the Court of Appeal. Lord Edward, sorry. TV3 News, Accra.